Hey guys, good morning. It is 8.30 a.m. I just made some coffee. I actually have an interview today, which is super exciting because I've been looking for a job for forever, it seems. And this is actually going to be the second interview. I'm obviously not going to wear it. It's till 1 p.m. and it's barely 8.30. Um, yeah, so I'm going to change later, but I'm super excited. I haven't made it to a second interview in a really long time so hopefully this goes well it was actually supposed to be an in-person interview on friday today's wednesday but there was a scheduling issue so we're just gonna do a quick 30 minute zoom call i don't know if there's gonna be like a third interview or what the next steps are but i'm really really hoping i get this i have been looking for a job for quite a while the first lady i had an interview with it was also a video call it went so good she was so nice and everything so i'm hoping the second interview goes well also so we'll see i'll let you know what happens i just finished my second interview video call meeting it was super chill the girl that i met with was just if she was so nice it was basically just like a conversation nothing like super interviewee like what are your strengths and what are your just literally a conversation she was so nice i should have asked what the next steps are i think it might be to go into the office and meet everyone but the thing is i did i okay so they invited me to the office and they asked me which day and time i'd be available i said friday they said yes and so i requested at my current job um some time to get off early so i could go to this interview and they approved it whatever okay and then the job that i'm interviewing for canceled and said that that time didn't work and that date which is fine whatever but i already put in a request at my current job that i need some time off to take because i thought i was going to go to this interview in person um so now i have to request another time and date and i just feel like that looks so specific suspicious you know so i'm trying not to act all suspicious about requesting all these times and different dates off because i don't know i just i don't even know why i care so much so my current job a couple months ago last month we had our one-on-one -on -one meeting discussion and they said we won't be able to give you a raise but we can offer you a flexible schedule which means i could work any hour of the day whatever time whatever day whatever a flexible schedule and my lead was like, let me run this by the boss because he makes the decision. So she ran it by the boss and today they let me know that no, they won't be able to let me have a flexible schedule and no, I will not be getting a raise. I've been at this job for two years and I will be getting a raise. So yeah, so I'm really hoping I get this new job, but I just, I don't know why I feel so guilty about asking for all these days off and random times off. I, I don't know. I don't know why I care so much. I just do. I'm a really hard worker and uh, I don't know. I care too much, I guess. I don't know. I'm really hopeful about this new job. Everything's been so good so far. I think they like me and it's for an environmental scientist role, which is exactly what I wanted to do going into college. I always wanted to be an environmental scientist. Like that sounds like a very cool title and everything they do is what I went to school for and what I hoped I would do in the future and if I got this opportunity I would be so so happy so I'm really hoping everything goes well and they email me back and I I don't know I'm really hopeful but I can't get too hopeful because I have been looking for a job for almost more than two years I want to say I'm not gonna lie I've put in hundreds and hundreds of applications and done so many interviews and i get ghosted i get rejected so i'm trying not to get all of my hopes up but this one looks good so far but also i don't want to get my hopes up so also currently at my current job i am fully remote i go into the office maybe once every two months but other than that, fully remote. And the job I just applied for and I just interviewed for has this flexible schedule where they basically work 40 hours within the four day work week and then they have Fridays off sometimes. And I like that idea. That's better than just being in an office for five days a week straight. I don't like that. As much as I love working from home, I love it so much. I wouldn't mind going back to the office for more money and a better role and you know to further my career and stuff. So yeah, everything just sounds good about this job, this new job that I just interviewed for. So yeah, and if I do get it, I'm really gonna miss working from home because 
I could just wake up and not deal with traffic and eat whatever I want, whenever I want, and save money from eating out and stuff like that. I haven't been in an office in two years, two and a half years. So it's 1.30 right now. I wasn't nervous at first, but then as the time got closer to 1 p.m., which was when I had my interview scheduled, my I just got nervous. And then I just didn't feel like eating anything, so I'm so hungry right now. I'm probably gonna make a sandwich. I'm starving, but like still nervous at the same time because I don't know what's gonna happen. But I'm gonna go make a sandwich and then clock back into work. Hey guys, so it's actually a couple days later. Still haven't heard anything about the job interview yet, but hopefully that'll happen soon. I just wanted to show really quickly what I got at Costco. I've been wanting this for a while and I finally got it. I have, okay, let me just show you. I got this. Disney Halloween party house with lights and music. So I have the Christmas one and I had to get the Halloween one. So I got the Christmas one because growing up, my mom would always decorate the house every holiday. She had like little trinkets and all that stuff. And it was just, it just made holidays feel so special for me. So that's what I'm trying to do with Liam. Just every holiday, really go all out. And I thought this was the perfect little thing. It's gonna be so cute and it's just like one of those things where he can look forward to seeing every year around Halloween. I don't know, I I love it. So I still haven't even opened it yet. I just wanted to show this. I don't even know what sounds it makes or what it does really. I know there's lights, but I'm gonna open this in a bit and then I will show you guys what it looks like and all that stuff. That's Liam in the background, by the way. Um, The only thing is, I don't have an exact spot of where I want to put it or anything. I think I have to do some rearranging around our apartment. I've been trying to make a dedicated toy area, play area for Liam in the living room because all his toys have just been everywhere and I want like him to have a designated area where all his toys can go and stuff like that. We don't have a lot of space but we'll make it work. Um, so I've just been rearranging and like cleaning everything. Jose's actually at work right now. He's working pretty late. Uh, he gets out of work at 8 and it's about 5 30 so i think i'm just gonna take the time and clean up this place and see where i want everything and unbox this thing i'm so excited to open it up okay so here's our living room liam's just playing with his bluey toys right now and he's watching lilo and stitch also um so our couch was a little bit shifted that way and i scooted it up a little bit more this way because we had all this empty space so I was like, might as well move it this way. And well, we're left with this little divided section. And I just figured to put all his toys here. So they're kind of hidden, but not really, but they're still here with us. So I think I'm gonna put some of those little soft tiles or something to have them just play here. Maybe get him a table, I don't know. I got this bin at Ikea and it's been so helpful because look how many Hot Wheels he has. His dad keeps buying him so many. And this bucket's just filled with Hot Wheels. Also, it has wheels too. And it helps that this top part fits the Hot Wheels so I can just cover it up like that, throw a Hot Wheel in like that. And I love this bucket. Just push it over there to the corner and there's his toys. Also, I was kind of in the process of hanging some curtains here. But all I have are command strips and the curtains are obviously too heavy so they just keep falling. And I really need some curtains because it's so hot outside right now. And the sun just hits the apartment, especially in the afternoon. So that's what I've been working with. But I don't think, I think we're gonna need an actual screw, some screws or some nails to hold that up because it's heavy. Okay, so I have this little cabinet table thing where I could possibly put this haunted house thing on top in the middle right there but i don't know if it looks a little weird or anything i actually had this in my room our tv was on it and we just had those little little storage things that you can put in here um but i would move it out here if it looked good but i don't know if it looks good i'm not too sure okay. it, has songs. it does have songs so i finally unboxed this little mickey haunted house and it's the cutest thing no, look at the pumpkin. they're so cute aren't Whoa. they mom look at the pumpkin i love it look at the big one. Oh my mm. god mom look at that one mm. i see it it's so cute i don't know if i want to leave it here i don't know if it looks awkward but 
It's just gonna go there for now. Yeah, because it's red and pink, right? Sounds like this. Yeah. And that pops like this, like cracks, like this. I was thinking of maybe putting like picture frames in here, but I don't know if I love this or not. I don't know. I think I might have to buy a separate console table. I don't know if they're, that's what they're called, but I think I might have to buy a separate one because this may be a little, I don't know. I just don't love this one. Okay, so this is what Jose and I look like in 2019. We had, I think we had just finished college and we just booked a cruise, but, and then we did like a whole photo shoot, but look how funny this picture is. They told me to put my fingers on the keys and I'm just like pressing them all. Look at that. That's, oh my God. Well, look how cute we are. We were so tan. Okay, so I'm like redecorating the apartment and cleaning everything and doing all these things. That's literally the curtain that fell down that I couldn't stick up because I have command strips. Anyways, Jose calls me. He's excited. He tells me his boss gives him tickets to his favorite brand, which is tonight. And it's already 6.30 p.m. The concert starts at 7. He's rushing back home. He has a babysitter for Liam. His brother's coming right now to pick up Liam and then we're heading to a concert. And I'm in the middle of chaos at home and he tells me that. So now I guess I have to go get ready for a concert. It's one of Jose's favorite brands. I saw them. We both went to one of their concerts three years ago probably. And they're not one of my favorite bands. They're okay. It's kind of like rap and rock together makes Suicide Boys in my opinion, but I'm not like a super fan like him, but I will go with him because he likes Suicide Boys. Um, I don't even know if I said that, but the band is called Suicide Boys. And I guess we're going to a concert. I have no idea what's happening or what, but yeah, his boss just gave him some tickets. So I guess we're going to a concert. Now I have to go change and do something with my hair. Probably not much because it's so hot outside and I'm just kind of in shock and I'm just gonna go with the flow, I guess, at this point. Okay, so we're here. We're uh, heading to the concert unexpectedly. This is a total 180 of whatever I was having planned today. Um, we were originally yeah. just, I was just gonna either sweat my. I was at a baseball game For and then work. My, my boss was like, hey, I got two extra suicide boys tickets. Uh, tell, your, tell your guys to like just do what they need to do and then dip. And then I did. I just told them to dip immediately because it's hot. Um, so, uh, yeah, now we're here, we're going to the concert, and I appreciate the box. And it's a box? It's up sweet. Supposedly. Allegedly. Not, a, not an alleged, it's like a sweet, like I can show you the tickets. I'm not going to believe it until I see it. It's a sweet it. ticket. I can show you right here. Or sweet just sweat. I don't... Full sweet. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's good because I don't really like people, and this, this concert is like, people are moshing, and I'm not super into it. I don't like people around me or close to me in my vicinity so if it's a box i'd be really really happy what genre is suicide boys because uh, wait because i said it was a mix between rock and rap is that true it is dark rap so dark rap. so why do people mosh and it's rap it's you can mosh to anything if you really put your own effort it's in. not my scene definitely not like maybe fun. like years ago it would have been but like not i even put my bands on for you yes she did i put my I my shirt from them from like Rock 2017 locker. and we got parking passes so we don't have to pay for parking even better i got excited when you said parking because in my head i know that it's like 30 dollars or 20 dollars to like park in that place okay we made it here this is where the spurs play so hopefully your boss can give us spurs oh, ticket so imagine too. sweet tickets to see the spurs that'd be fun all right Let's get park and then let's go inside. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what to expect. Neither do I. Hopefully these sweet tickets are sweet. Sweeting. They're, they better be sweet. <laughs> okay, this is the bar. I can never go back up there again. I can't. Normally we would sit way there. Yeah, you see that little opening right oh, around yeah. here? Yeah. yeah. That? Yeah. We'd be in the restrooms right behind us. <laughs> Typically, yeah. <laughs> Trying to find 
the restroom because I have to pee. The line was ridiculous. It My was. voice is gone. Oh, so. it is. Yeah, I yeah. just noticed. Um, so included with the box were free oh, drinks, drinks and food, and I took advantage of that. Oh, your voice. Yeah, is my voice gone. is gone. Like it's gone. Well, love the boys. That's like my fourth, fifth time looking at them. I took advantage of the drinks. I had to. I had to. We, if I get any flag from it, I'll pay for it. I don't, care. I don't think so. They didn't even take a card or anything. They just asked they us what we wanted account. to drink. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to. It's fun. I had to. But now I have to go to the bathroom and we're stuck in traffic and then we're going to pick up Liam, right? Correct. Yes. And then we're going to go to bed. And then wake up at like Asker. And then we got, you got work at what time? Uh, 8, 8.30. On a Saturday. On a Saturday. Normally I don't work on Saturdays. I didn't know most songs. I knew like maybe three, four. The, the new stuff was different because I didn't mm. listen to the new album. And okay. And I started playing like the old stuff and I was like, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm more for the old stuff. We saw them maybe three years ago, right? Uh, 2021, yes. And I feel like that was much, so much fun. I saw them in 21. But also we saw them in, at uh, Emo's in Austin, Texas. Yes. And it was like way smaller and there wasn't any like fire, what is it? Pyro. Pyro. Not any pyro. And it was basically just our music. Okay, sorry about the lighting. But it was just, there was no pyro. In it. So now they got money. They got, they got money. Pyro. Uh, they got graphics. <laughs> they got some like custom graphics. graphics it's got, boosh. Like, it's boosh. They got money now. So it was really different. And it was, it was Didn't crowded say. also. Yeah. I feel like it was almost sold out. Good morning. It is the next day. It's about 9 a.m. right now. We woke up at 7 a.m. because Liam woke up at 7 a.m. and we got home at midnight last night. So I'm very tired. I look very tired. Jose actually had to go back to work at 8 a.m. So he's at work right now. Liam's just playing with his toys right now also. But yeah, I'm so exhausted. I need some coffee and some breakfast actually. But the concert was so fun last night. I had never, we had never been in a box before. Usually, honestly, we'd probably be in the nosebleeds if we were to go to that concert, but... So the box came with, like, all you could drink drinks, like alcohol or any kind of beverage you want, and they had, like, this broom specifically for, like, sweet box members, and it was just a buffet of food that you could pick, whatever you want. They had, like, cookies and burgers and little side appetizers and stuff like that. And it had like private bathrooms and like private seating area, TVs everywhere. It was so awesome. And you can take the food back to the box. And then whenever you'd want to go sit at your seat, there'd be like staff members coming and asking if you want anything to drink and stuff like that. It was amazing. Um, we had like our own private little section for to ourselves. There was people sitting next to us, but it wasn't really a big deal. It was still way better than being anywhere else honestly i loved the box uh, i don't even know how much it costs i don't think i want to know but it would be amazing to see the spurge play in that box i don't know i have to look into it because i'm curious to know the price i don't even know what number to expect but yeah the parking was included the tickets were included the food the drinks everything so I guess we just got lucky with Jose's boss giving us those free tickets. So before we had Liam, we would always do spontaneous things like that, and I, I really miss that. And we're so grateful to have Jose's family here with us in San Antonio. They live like 30, 40 minutes away from us, but still, they're still in the same city with us. My family's four hours away, and then I also have a sister here that lives in San Antonio with me, but we have opposite schedules, so I don't really see her that much. Um, but yeah, Jose's brother was able to come and pick up Liam right away and as soon as Jose got home we just left to the concert. So I'm very grateful for him and the whole family, his whole family. So yeah, this week has just been chaotic. I wasn't expecting to go to a concert or anything like that. I've been trying to clean up this apartment forever. Like I feel like I cannot finish one room. Like I go to one room, I work on something and then I work on another one and then everything's just a disaster. Anyways, so says that we're great now and I'm, we're waiting for him to get out. He should be out at around 11.30, but we have one of our really good friends from college. Is, their kid is having his birthday party 
but it's in Austin and we live in San Antonio so it's gonna be an hour and a half drive to get there. They're having his sixth birthday party at this trampoline place. We went to his birthday party last year and it was at the same place and Liam loved it but he's a little bit bigger now. I remember last year him being like fussy because he wanted to take a nap and stuff like that but this year he doesn't even He's three and a half, doesn't take a nap, so I think he should be good to go. He's been talking about it all morning. He's super excited. I have to go wrap up the gift I got for him. After Jose comes home, we're heading to Austin right away. I feel like this week has been just chaotic, mostly for him, but I feel the chaos of him on me and our schedule. I don't know. It's been really crazy, and hopefully I can clean up the apartment before we leave i'm gonna make some breakfast right now i'll show you what i got him i was like looking up things to get a six-year-old boy and i couldn't find anything so i just ended up getting him legos because i do not know what to get a six-year-old but i don't know i don't know what like boys that age are into liam and i are ready for this party but is still at work he's running a little bit late he should have been home by now but i guess things are running late over there so we're already late for the party it's supposed to start at 1 and if we didn't, it's 11.30 right now and we should have had to leave by now to get there on time. So I don't even know if we're going to get there on time because I think it ends at 3 and it takes us an hour and a half to get there. I have no idea what we're going to do, which is a bummer. Liam's been asking all morning about this party and we're running late and by the time, I don't know. But it is what it is. I feel bad. We're still going to probably show up, but I don't think we're going to be there for the full party. So <sighs> that sucks because we never really get to see our friends because they're like they live in the Austin area and it's so hard to find time to spend time with them because they live so far. But hopefully we can make it to this party. Okay, so update. We had to leave without Jose because he was running late, super late. And then we would have been super late to the party. So uh, we ended up leaving him. I told him it's fine. He doesn't have to meet us here because the traffic's insane. We're literally at a standstill. And I still have about 40 minutes. I am getting to the party around 1.30 and it ends at 3. But it doesn't matter. At least we'll be there for a little bit and Liam can play. I'm only doing this for Liam, really. I want him to play with other kids and jump around on the trampoline for a little bit. But yeah, I'm just trying my best to get there. It is a very far drive and I've been going like 30 on the highway forever. So no, I just want to get there. We're actually back home now from the party. It was another hour and a half drive back home, but we made it. I'm in comfy clothes now, and Liam had so much fun. It was really nice to see our friends. I hadn't seen them in a while, and seeing their kid grow is crazy. From like a newborn baby to a six-year-old is crazy, and I just loved being there for them. Still so tired from yesterday. I'm watching Modern Family right now. Jose and Liam are actually walking to the mailbox to get a package that we have from Amazon. We're going camping in a couple of weeks and I got this cute little camping toy set for Liam to play with while we go camping. Now I thought I would do a quick video because it's the only time where it would be completely quiet without both of them interrupting. So yeah, we're just hanging out. Good morning. It's Sunday today. It's 8 a.m. I'm actually at my sister's place, so we're about to go get brunch together. I'm gonna have some coffee at her place. We're gonna go to this restaurant she recommended for brunch and then probably go to a farmer's market and just hang out and see what they have and stuff. I want to spend some time with her. She now has weekends off. She used to work on weekends and then I have weekends off. So I never really got to have a chance to hang out with her, but now her schedule changed. So now I'll be hanging out with her a lot more often. So I'm going to go inside and get some coffee. now i didn't expect to take that long but i was just hanging out with my sister 
we went to the farmer's market, we went out for brunch, we had mimosas, and then we decided to do some shopping. I went to Bath and Body Works. I got a whole bag of soaps. They were on sale for like $2.50. And I think the normal price is $7.95. So I got a couple hand soaps. But now I'm heading back home. My car says it's 108 degrees. I am ready to see Liam and Hassan and spend some time with them. Good morning guys, it is like 7 a.m. right now. I was supposed to show what I got from the stores with my sister yesterday, but I just didn't have a chance to and it was so loud, so I figured I'd do it right now because Hassan and Liam just left. Liam is actually starting his first day of pre-K today, so that's exciting. I don't know if it's as exciting as starting kinder or first grade, but it's exciting to me. Any little milestone is exciting. I got five hand soaps. I got some fall scents. I got two fall scents, but I already have one in the bathroom. And then I got one Halloween one. And then these are my go-to soaps. This scent, Mahogany Teakwood, is our favorite. So I got two of these, because it was only $2.95, I think. So I had to stock up on soap. So we also stopped at Target. I got two face masks. I like these, because they're peel-off masks, and it just you can see everything that's on your skin after you peel it and they just work really well for me and they're pretty affordable they're maybe three dollars yeah i like these and then i got some primer so i'm starting to want to wear makeup more often and i just don't know how or what to do or what like the steps of putting on makeup are so i went with my sister and she was like you need to put primer before your foundation so it can look all smooth and everything and i've never used a primer before honestly so I figured I'd give this one a shot. I hadn't been to a Kirkland's in so long. Like I always think of it being as a super expensive like furniture store. So I've never, I never really go in. I just know it being expensive. But I went, went in with my sister anyway and they had so many things on sale and like clearance stuff. And it was actually pretty affordable. Before that we had gone to Home Goods, and a vase like this with some flowers was $35 on its own. So I was like, might as well just get the vase on its own and separate flowers so I could change it throughout the holidays. So I got this vase and I'm thinking about going to Hobby Lobby sometime during the week. I'm getting some like fall leaves. I'm trying to decorate my apartment because it's pretty bare and I want to decorate for like the holidays and stuff. So I figured I'd start with that vase, but just missing the flowers and that's all I got. Oh, also I got one more package from Amazon. Let me show you. I got one more package from Amazon. So we're going on a camping trip in a couple weeks and I just kind of got this camping activity set for Liam. So this is the little camping kit that I got for him. It comes with all these things. It's quite a lot. It was 30 bucks on Amazon. It has a tent, a storage bag, a chain, pots and pans, little insect cards, a flashlight, water bottle, all these little things. Um, yeah, it's supposed to look like that. So it has a thing for a fire, a fake fire, because our cabin will have a campfire also, and we're doing s'mores and stuff like that, but I want him to like pretend play and stuff like that. So I thought this was a good idea. I don't know if I should save it for when we actually go to the cabin or if I should give it to him a little bit earlier. Anyways, it's Monday today. I'm back to work. I'm so grateful. I don't have to be in a rush to get to work or anything because I can literally just open my laptop because I work from home, but I hope today's a good week and I hope I hear back from that job that I just applied to with all the interviews and hopefully they get back to me in a couple days because that'd be really exciting to start a new job even though I love working from home so much. I know I've said it a million times, but I will go wherever I can advance in my career. So I'm looking forward to hearing back from them. If not, it's fine, I'll just keep applying. But yeah, hopefully this week's gonna be a good one. I have to, go get Liam's school supplies after work. I don't even know if we'd be able to find all of this at Walmart, but that's one of the things I have to do after dinner. We're gonna head to Walmart and get some of this stuff. I wanted to show you guys really quick that camping activity set that I got for Liam. Um, I ended up opening it for him and he is obsessed with it. He loves it so much. It came with this big tent and all of these little fun camping things. It has a canteen, it has a little fork, a watch, it came with a hat, um, a compass, these actual cards that he can go and find actual insects. And then 
everything inside he's he's been playing with this literally for like the last two days so it comes with all these bugs literally last night i was like walking to get some water and i saw these bugs and i literally thought it was a real bug but it's not it's just all these insects that he can find and identify and then they actually have real pictures of them here and then um the names of them it's really really cool dangerous plants um yeah all that kind of stuff it has a lantern this actually lights up i just haven't been able to put batteries in there but it lights up this campfire actually lights up too but i also haven't been able to get batteries for that but it came with all these little foods that he's been cooking in there it has binoculars a shovel all these little things um but my favorite part is this flashlight. I need to show you, but I have to go somewhere dark. So let me show you really quick in my room. Okay, so here is the flashlight. This has been Liam's favorite thing out of the whole set. It has these little slides. And the, it has the planets. And you can just switch it. And he loves this thing. You can go through all the planets. And he's been learning about planets now. And he's super interested in learning about space. And then there's other slides that it comes with, but this is the only one I've seen. Let me see the other one so I can show you. See, it came with these different slides, and then the one I just showed you is this one. But I haven't seen these other ones, so I guess we can see them together really quickly. Okay, so this one's Constellations. I don't know if you can see. Okay, there we go. These are different Constellations. That's so cute. He hasn't even seen these. He's going to love these. It looks a lot better when it's completely dark, but he loves this thing. This has been a hit. I would recommend this completely. Or if you just want more activity play for your kid, I recommend this. Honestly, he has way too many car toys and I wanted him to have like activity play where he's actually doing something like cooking or camping or setting a fire or anything like that. You know, just having imaginary play, so. I 100% recommend this. I will link it down below. Well, I got all of Liam's school supplies. It's all this stuff right here. I have to go through everything and label his name on literally everything. Um, I'm still missing a couple things, but I think I have to order those things because I haven't been able to find like a kinder nap mat. I had, I've been to like Walmart, Target, couldn't find that there. I don't know where you get that. I did see him on Amazon. So I think I have to do an additional Amazon order for a couple things that I'm missing. I have most of the stuff. Um, it was like $65 for all the stuff that he needed. I also have this box right here. I have to ship out soon. I've been selling Liam's old clothes that he doesn't fit into anymore on eBay. I honestly thought nobody would buy it, to be honest, but I thought I'd give it a shot and somebody actually did buy it. So I have to go ship that out today. Um, I still haven't heard back from that shop that I've applied to and it's making me like a nervous wreck. Like I haven't been able to eat. I haven't been able to sleep. I don't know why I'm like that. I'm just super, super anxious, especially like during the waiting period. Like I just want to know, did I get it? Did I not? Like I hate when they drag it on for so long. It's been about, I want to say three weeks since when I've applied and then I had two other interviews and then I'm waiting for them to get back to me. And I've just been so nervous and it's like, it makes me sick. I don't want to be like this, but I just am. And I don't know what to do. That's something I really need to work on because I don't like feeling like this. Um, I've been looking at other jobs too. It's just, there's not a lot to even apply to. I'm so tired of just looking for a job. It's been like so embarrassing to say it, but it's been over two years. I've said this before, but yeah, it's been over two years of just me applying and doing interviews and then getting rejected. Going through all of that is like hurting my confidence, but I still have to keep applying and stuff. I wanna better myself and advance my career. So I'm just gonna keep pushing forward. Hopefully they'll reach out to me soon. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been going through lately. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.